This is a standard version of Windows 11. It has loads of background processes, pre-installed bloatware and takes up a lot of space on my disk. If this was a super low end PC then this would struggle to do even the most basic tasks and you can forget about gaming because the performance would be awful. While you can optimise your Windows 11 experience, which I've done a lot of videos on, sometimes it's easier just to cut out the unnecessary features of Windows 11 without the risk of them coming back in a later update. This is where Tiny11 comes in. Tiny11 has little background processes, no unnecessary pre-installed apps and takes up only 8GB of space. It comes with a bare minimum Microsoft apps and unless your computer's ancient, most computers can run Tiny11. It runs great on just 2GB of RAM. It also doesn't require secure boot or TPM in order to be installed. In today's video, we're going to be checking out Tiny11 and seeing how it runs on my low-end PC. We're going to be installing it, putting it through its paces, doing a bit of gaming on there and seeing if it's worth the upgrades. If you guys are new around here, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so to install Tiny11, you need to go ahead and get it from their website. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. It's an internet archive website, which is quite weird to be uploading an ISO to. But yeah, you can go ahead and grab it from here. I personally got the torrent because it downloaded a lot quicker. It's by NTDev, who's very trusted in making these stripped down versions of Windows. So yeah, I've gone ahead and got the ISO here. Now we just need to get our USB drive, plug it into the computer. And then I'm going to use a program called Rufus, which will basically burn the ISO to the USB. So yeah, basically just select your USB, select the ISO. And yeah, all these settings you can pretty much just leave on the default. So I'll come up with this box. Now I'm going to uncheck all of these options here just because I want to see what Tiny11 is like straight out of the box and I don't want it to set it up for me. It'll give you a warning. So remember to back up all the files that are on your USB because it's going to be completely erased to make this Windows USB. And yeah, just leave it to do its thing and I'll be back once it's done. All right, so the USB finished and I've just plugged it into my computer and it's just installing Windows. It's pretty much just like installing Windows 11 for the first time. It's pretty standard. There's nothing really new. So yeah, I'll be back once it's installed. Right, so here we are in the Tiny11 setup. So, so far, it's pretty much just been like a regular Windows 11 install. So it'll be interesting to see what's kind of cut out from the installer. But so far, it's pretty standard, honestly. All right, so we've got the option for a local account here, which is very good. We don't need to log in with a Microsoft account or anything. So it does look like we've got the regular telemetry questions and stuff, which I haven't seen in a while, actually. So yeah, just basically just press no to pretty much everything. All right, so we're in on our desktop. And my first impressions are, what is all this? So this is meant to have cut out all the bloatware and that kind of stuff. Now, I know these are just shortcuts. You can simply just right click on them and uninstall them. But yeah, I would have liked to have seen these probably removed as standard. But anyway, if we go into the all apps here, as you can see, there isn't actually that many. We've got the very bare minimum Microsoft apps here. We've got accessibility, calculator, camera, all of this stuff, really. So it's, yeah, pretty bare bones. There's no Candy Crush or anything installed. It's just these shortcuts here, which you can quite easily just go ahead and just right click on install. So I'll go ahead and do all of that later. But yeah, I've had a look here in the file explorer and look at that. Wow, our local disk C is barely taken up at all. We have got Windows update, so that's pretty cool. Now, a lot of people are probably interested in what version this is running. So let's go ahead and check this out here. So we're running Windows 11 22 H2, which is what Tiny11 is built off of. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be screaming at me for the task manager. So yeah, let's go ahead and have a look at that. We've got hardly any CPU usage, which is really good. And only about two gigabytes of our RAM or 27% is actually being used. As you can see, we've got about 33 background processes here. I don't know why Microsoft Teams has come pre-installed on here. That's pretty annoying. I'm going to have to go ahead and uninstall that later. And we've got about 89 Windows processes. So... Yeah, compared to some of the operating systems that I've reviewed before, this isn't as bare bones, but it's very functional. All right, so I've just restarted my computer. I've installed a couple of updates and that kind of thing. And it looks like our background processes have gone down. So we've got about 25 here. And yeah, pretty much all the essential services and stuff we really need. There is one problem. I don't think we've got a web browser <laughs> on Tiny11. I don't think Edge has come pre-installed. Yeah, we don't we genuinely don't have a web browser on Tiny11. 
Okay, that's a little bit awkward. We're going to have to try and install one through um, PowerShell, I think. To be honest, I'm quite impressed that they've removed Edge. I mean, Edge is always coming back. Every time I try and remove it on my main computer, it always finds a way to sneak back in. So yeah, I'm pretty happy that they've managed to kill off Microsoft Edge in Tiny11. So now I just need to try and install a web browser through PowerShell. All right, so if you just go to PowerShell and just type in winget install mozilla.firefox, it should install Firefox for us, hopefully. And here we go. We didn't need a web browser to do that or another computer. Boom. And here we go. Here is our web browser of choice, Mozilla Firefox. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty impressed with Tiny11. It's functional. It doesn't leave a big footprint on my drive. And for a low-end PC, this could be really good. Now, there was another version of Tiny11 that I was going to check out, but this version came out, and this one's getting a lot more attention. It's made by a more trusted person. So, yeah, I definitely recommend checking out Tiny11, and, yeah, all the links will be in the description. Now, we're going to try and run Minecraft on Tiny11. If you haven't watched my videos before, basically, I'm kind of like a Minecraft tech channel. So, yeah, we've got to have a little bit of Minecraft in this video. So, we're going to see what the gaming performance is like on this operating system, seeing how it kind of performs compared to regular Windows 11. And, yeah, if you want to see other games as well, then definitely let me know in the comments. And uh, maybe I could do some benchmarks. I could become a, a gaming benchmark channel. All right, anyway, so we're going to run Minecraft 1.8.9, which is the version that I normally play. We're just going to go vanilla, no mods or anything like that. And yeah, see what it's like. All right, so here's how Minecraft runs on this operating system. So we're getting about 50 FPS here in a single player creative world just flying around here. And yeah, it's pretty good performance. I normally average about 60 FPS. Bear in mind, these are the settings. So these aren't really realistic. So let's go ahead and put the settings that I normally have on. We'll disable VSync and we'll put this setting on as well. And... Yeah, that's instantly lifted our performance. We're now getting about 70, 80 FPS, 90 FPS, which is pretty good. There's a ton of clouds as well. They're really annoying. But yeah, we're still getting really good performance. In terms of background processes while we're gaming, let's go ahead and throw up our task manager here. So we're getting about 32 background processes here. It's mainly just Minecraft, my graphics driver, and some other different things here. Windows security, that kind of thing. 77 background processes so yeah it's pretty good so this is my task manager here cpu memory that kind of thing while we're gaming it's obviously going to be a little bit more than just doing nothing on my desktop so yeah very good gaming performance if we go into full screen we might even get even more fps whoa 120 150 fps okay so the performance is a lot better in full screen and also yeah we don't have any mods or anything so we can't show our fps we just have to kind of I don't know, say about 200 FPS we're getting now. So really playable, really good. And yeah, quite impressed. All right, so I've just installed Lunar Client and we're just flying around our single player world here. We're getting just under 200 FPS there, but about 150 normally. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. I think we could probably turn off our smooth lighting and get even more FPS. Let's just try and go for the maximum FPS possible. And yeah, I mean, the performance is really good. I'm quite happy with Lunar Client and it feels a lot smoother. I can definitely play with this now. 200 FPS we're getting now flying around, which is really good to see. I mean, look at this, lazy chunk loading, looking up. We've got 400 FPS there, that's crazy. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the performance of Tiny11. I'll probably install this over regular Windows 11, honestly. But yeah, until Windows 11 LTSC comes out, which I'm really excited for if they ever do that, then I'd probably recommend Tiny11. It's got everything you need. It's quite stripped down, quite bare bones. It doesn't take a lot of space on your drive. But yeah, I kind of want to make my own custom version of Windows. Would you guys be interested in that? Let me know in the comments down below. I had to find a developer for it because obviously I have no idea what I'm doing. But I have an idea in mind of what I want. And if I can find someone that could make it happen, then... Uh, that would definitely be cool. We could call it Notro OS. We could get all you people running it. It'd be really cool. So let me know if you want me to try and get that sorted in the comments down below. I'm kind of excited. I can kind of picture it in my head. But I'm not going to give too much away. And speaking of uh, Notro stuff, Notro Client. I'm going to probably leave the link to the Discord in the description. I've decided to make a new Discord for it because it was originally using my Discord. And it was getting kind of inactive because everyone wanted Notro Client and then it went quiet for about a year. So yeah, I've made a new Discord for it now. So I'll probably leave that in the description so you guys can go join and get all the updates for Notro Client. So hopefully you guys are all excited for that. That's definitely going to be happening this year. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are all hyped for that. 
So also, my PvP tournament, that's going to be happening very soon. So uh, make sure you guys stay active on my channel. So probably the very first people that join my tournament Discord, say about, I don't know, the first 20 or so, they'll be able to be in the tournament. So make sure you guys stay active on my channel because I'll probably post the Discord link in the description of one of my upcoming videos. First people to join, they get to enter the tournament and winner gets a free Minecraft account or a cape or cosmetic on whatever client you want. So yeah, it's going to be quite cool. It's going to be a fun, interesting video. I'm just getting the server and stuff sorted for that. So that should be happening very soon. So yeah, lots going on really. So uh, stay tuned, I guess. Anyway, that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Make sure to check out Tiny11. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. If you've got a low end PC out there, then definitely let me know how it goes for you because I'd be very interested to find out. And yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoying these videos. Leave a like if you are. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah, I got a new chair. It's so cool. I can just fall asleep at my computer now.